Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be The Lone Ranger. Original air dates March 21st, 1947, and the title is The Last Run. Let's get into it. horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Yes, when you hear that galloping horse, it's the Lone Ranger. And when you see that delicious breakfast cereal shaped like tiny, crisp little letter O's... It's Cheerios. Rangers, today we're giving you another chance to hear about Cheerios' exciting gift offer. Today we're giving you another chance to get a pair of genuine, brand new U.S. Army goggles, and they're yours without sending in one single cent. Whatever you do, don't miss this offer. Hear all about it later in today's program. Cheerio, 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 cheerio. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the flight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let go, big fellow. I'll Silver. Hooray! Abner Watrous sat on the porch of his small ranch house, looking wistfully at a heavy stagecoach that stood beneath a nearby tree. His watery eyes turned toward a pasture where several horses grazed. Old, all of us grown old. Old and stony. Are you speaking to me, Abner? Hmm? No, 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 Martha. I was just thinking, that's all. Things around here haven't been the same since the boys left. Nonsense. Nothing's changed. Yes, it has, Martha. When Bill and Herb were here, we had them to take care of. Now they've got a ranch all their own. They don't need us no more. No one needs us. No one but my old horses. Oh, now, Abner, don't take on. Oh, even the horses won't need us much longer. Bill and Herb have asked us to come and live with them. You want to go, No, now. I don't. This is my home, and I want to stay here. I wish we could raise cash enough. Edna, what is cash enough for what? Well, I... Oh, never mind, Mother. You've been talking to the man who took over the stage line, haven't you now? Well, I... I knew it. That's why you've been moping ever since you got back from town. You've been trying to get back in harness. Oh, it's this sitting around. Nothing to do. It's under my skin. Oh, honey, you've done your work. You've earned enough to buy a little ranch and keep us for the rest of our days. Nothing to do but sit and wait. Just the same as the horses over there are doing, waiting to die. Doggone it, Martha, if I had cash enough, I'd buy an interest in that new stage line. Oh, that's not just like a man. A year ago, you were sky hooting because you'd sold out to the new stage line and you wouldn't have to work anymore. I know. Now you want to buy an interest so you can go back to work. Well, I, for one, am mighty glad we used the cash to pay off what we owed on this piece of land and help the boys get started on their own ranch. Nothing left but six old stove-in horses and an stage coach. Look at her over there, Martha. Sturdy as she ever was. Shiny. Oh, could be. Spend half the time puttering around it. I can't help thinking when I look at her how proud I was when those horses were young and spry and raring to go. I'd sit there calm and straight, make a big thing of pulling on my gloves, while all the town folk gathered around admiring and envying me. I remember. I used to watch you. <laughs> then I'd take the reins in one hand, take the whip in the other, just like this. And I'd crack the whip and I'd shout, Get up there! Get along there, Blackie! Come on, Dusty! Get along! Oh, sakes alive, Abner. Look at your horses over there. Well, they remember, Martha. Look at them standing there with their, e- their ears cocked. They heard me. Look at old Blackie standing high on me. 
Yeah, him with the day. Doggone, I wish I could raise the cash. I'd buy into this new outfit and show these young whippersnappers how to run a stage line. Well, you may as well forget it, Abner. You haven't got the cash, and if you did have, I wouldn't hear they're trying to drive a stage again. Martha, I hear horsemen coming this way. They must be on the other side of the house. Oh, there they come. Sakes alive, Martha. Look at that white horse. Look at that stride. Did you ever see such a critter? It paints a good horse, too. Abner, the man on that white horse is masked. What? Mask? Sure not. Six. Maybe he's an outlaw. Well, maybe they're coming to rob us. Oh, dear, I wonder. Oh, no, 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 no. But they don't look as though they come to make trouble. Come on. Fire. What does that mask mean, stranger? What do you want here? Nothing but water. We like to water our horses and fill our canteens. I think... Well, what is it, mister? Why are you looking at me that way? Aren't you having a Watson? What if I am? You are, and that's your stagecoach. I remember when you used to drive the San Pedro Trail... What? You do? I certainly do. The record you made over that trail has never been matched. Well, you hear that, Martha? You hear what he said? Yes, I hear. If water is all you want, mister, the trough's over yonder. You're more than welcome. Well, thanks. I'll go take care of it, will you? Ah, uh, this way, sir. Oh, no, perhaps you can help me. How? Hey, if it's cash, mister. No, uh, the express office has been robbed. You mean the express office in Woodstock? Yes. That's my old office. Uh, no. What is stolen? Did the crooks get away with much? Quite a bit of gold was in the office. They got away with all of it. Doggone. You hear that, Martha? Such things never happened when I was running the stage line. There were eight men. Eight of them, eh? Yes. Lefty Jordan's gang. Lefty Jordan. Martha, you hear that? I'm not dead. Oh, that critter's been dodging the law for as long as I can remember. Well, that's why there's such a big reward for his capture. And additional rewards for every member of his gang. Do you uh, know him on sight? Hey, doggone right I do. Well, he may come this way. Oh, my sake. Abner, if he comes fast here, why, he might make no end of trouble for us. Hold on, mister. If he was coming this way, he'd have been here by now, wouldn't he? Not necessarily. He'd be ahead of you. He might find some place near Woodstock and hide until he sees a good chance to escape. Did he start out this way? No, Abner. He left town by the North Trail. All the lawmen went in that direction to look for him. Now, if he's smart, he'll lie low for a while and circle back this way and escape over the South Trail when no one is looking for him. He'd have to cross the San Pedro Bridge to get anywhere. Be miles to go around the canyon. Yes, that's right. Well, Joan, I'd better get my rifle loaded. If eight gunslingers are heading this way with stolen gold, I'm going to do my dog gone to stop them. All right, thanks, fellow. Hey, see here, mister, if you're looking for the Jordan gang, you must be on the side of the law. I am. Then why do you wear a mask? This may explain it, Abner. What's that? A bullet. I hope we'll meet again. Adios, Freddy Big Fellow. Freddy Fellow, sir. Me, Randy. Hey, this bullet's made of silver. Come on, Come on. Martha. Martha, take a good look at that man that's riding away. Take a good look at him. He's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Lone Ranger and Tonto crisscrossed the area between the town of Woodstock and the San Pedro Canyon, while lawmen hunted north of town for the Jordan gang. The masked man had reasoned accurately. The outlaws had circled to the south, but had exercised extreme caution to keep the hard ground where the tracks of their horses wouldn't show. At one point, they rode for several miles in a shallow stream. Finally, Jordan signaled a halt. Oh, 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 done a good job of hiding our tracks, Lefty. Yeah, we had to. I bet we left every lawman hunting for us on the other side of town. Well, we probably did, but we sure wore our horses out doing it. We need fresh horses. I know where we can get them, Lefty. Where? Hey, look over there. If my eyes are wrong, there's some right smart-looking critters in that corral. Yeah, I see them. Don't look like there's anyone around. Who owns that outfit? Any of you know? I know who lives there. I remember hearing about that outfit. Yeah, well, who is it, Dick? There's two brothers there. I bought the place about a year ago to raise horses. They're the sons of old man Watson. Watson, Watson. Yeah, Abner Watson. He used to run the stage line before he sold out. Oh, yeah. Bill and Herb. That's the name of the boys. Bill and Herb Watson. Yep. 
They're breeding horses. They got what we want. Then what are we waiting for? When I see something I want, I got a habit of getting it. We help ourselves to horses and then cross the San Pedro Bridge. We'll be in the clear. What about the critters we got now? We gonna take them along with us? We'll take horses along with us, all right, but not these. We take fresh horses, extra ones. And we can keep on going as long as we want. All right, let's see. We can always sell a few extra horses if they're good ones. What do we do? Charge up there and help ourselves? Now, hold on, Jake. That's a way to invite lead poisoning. Well, I... We ride up to the house without flashing any hardware or showing any signs of making trouble. There's only one thing wrong, Lefty. The way your picture's been spread around on handbills, the chances are two to one that you'll be recognized. Maybe so. That'll be time enough to start getting rough. Come on, boy. Get up there, boy. Come on, boy. Get up there. Come on, Herb. Food spread out on the table. Sit down and start eating. Oh, just a minute, Bill. We got this window. Huh? Bill, what are you looking at? There's some men coming this way. Eight of them. Why, sure enough. Maybe they're coming to buy horses. Yeah, they could use them. The horses they're riding are just about stove in. <laughs> I reckon we can postpone eating for a while if we can sell eight or nine horses, huh? Gee, Bill, take a look at that one man. The big critter. There's something familiar about him. You ever seen him before? I don't know where I've seen him, but as you say, he looks familiar. I just can't remember where he's it is. coming up to the door. You'll ask him where we've seen him. Yeah. I'll open the door. If it's horses you want, Mr. Hey, we Bill. Got... I remember. You want horses, all right. Bill, it's Lefty George. Jordan. Please cut your Hold eyes. Hold it. Don't get tough, you two. Put those guns down. You, you take get it. in the house there, son. We got to talk to now, Go on. Get in there. Why, you... Shut up. Well, if you think you can get away with this... Oh! Now watch yourself. Herb! Herb! Herb, step on. Next shot will hurt more. Don't you boys get rough with me. Turns are awful fast on the trigger. Rope these two, then we help ourselves to horses and get away from here. Why don't we drill the two of them and let it go at that, Lefty? I said rope them. Got no hankering to have a noose around my neck if I'm ever caught. And that's what'll happen if we leave dead men lying around behind us. You won't get away with this, Jordan. We'll see about that. Hurry up, Pete. You and Jake get those two hogs tied while the rest of the boys are switching saddles to fresh horses. Take your horses, boys, and saddle up. Put my gear on that big black. Now, hey, give me a hand. <laughs> and if I make these ropes too tight, they'll let out a squeal. Because your doggone lucky lefty Jordan don't believe in making you two permanently cry. Now, you take care of that one, Jake. Yeah, come on. And if you have any trouble with him, slap him on the head with your gun barrel. We'll continue our story in just a moment. Attention, all Lone Ranger listeners. Here's a special nationwide report. New York reports. Cereals offer of genuine U.S. Army goggles most amazing in history. Chicago reports. Goggles moving out very fast. Los Angeles reports. Supply of goggles almost gone. It's the same story all over the country, Rangers. Cereals' great gift offer is winding up in a blaze of glory. Yes, and winding up it is. This amazing offer is closing fast. So if you want a pair of genuine U.S. Army goggles, you'll really have to step on it. Remember, these 12 goggles are the very same kind worn by so many of our G.I.s in combat. They're brand new, they've never been used, and remember, this is a gift offer. You don't have to send in one single penny. No money, no box tops, no coupons. All you have to do is go to your favorite grocery store. Right there, right now, right in your own hometown, you can get a pair of genuine U.S. Army goggles. Here's your chance to get some real war equipment, partners. A useful pair of brand new combat-type goggles made with wide-vision shatterproof lenses made to strict U.S. government specifications. These fine goggles, now released for civilian use, have an adjustable headband. They fit any size head. Boys, girls, men's or women's. They look wonderful on both boys and girls. You'll want a pair for playing airplane pilot, commando, or other action games. You'll want them to wear when you're out on your bike. And for other sports like fishing, hiking, hunting, skating, tennis, and at the beach. And and whenever you want to protect your eyes from dust, wind, rain, or snow. Hurry, Rangers. Get yours while they last. Listen carefully. Here's how you get your pair of genuine, brand-new U.S. Army goggles. Simply go to your grocery store and get two packages of Cheerios. That nourishing breakfast cereal that's made from oats and ready to eat. The goggles won't cost you a single penny extra. Be sure to look for the special Cheerios Goggles Pack. That's two packages of Cheerios together with a picture of the goggles on the front. 
You'll find your goggles right inside one of these two packages, between the inner liner and the package. Be sure to get yours tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, see your grocer, get two packages of Cheerios, and get your pair of brand new, genuine U.S. Army goggles absolutely without any extra cost. Now to continue our story. The Jordan gang wasted no time on the horse ranch. They selected the best horses from the corral and hurried away, leaving Herb and Bill tightly bound on the floor of the house. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto continued their search for some sign of a thief. It seemed like a hopeless case. Then the masked man suddenly held up one hand. Tonto, right up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Very big fella. Ah. They're hoof marks. Yes, a lot of them. They came out of that stream over there. That right. At least a half a dozen horses passed this way. There are eight men in Jordan gang. The tracks go over there toward that ranch. And you see them. Come on, Toto. Get them up. Sky hold somewhere. It took but a few minutes for the masked man and his Indian companion to reach the corral. There they saw the tired horses they had followed. Oh, 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 Tracks go away from here. He's a big fellow. Heading south. That's right. That come from home. Come on, fellow. No, I heard about that kid black bottom. Another outlaw. You're wrong about that. Take care of that one, Tonto. I'll... You're Bill Watson. Uh, how do you know? You must be her. That's right. We'll have those ropes cut away in just a second. But who are you? How do you know us? I know your father... Who tied you? Lefty Jordan's hang. There you are. Yeah, thanks. They stole our horses. They're heading for the San Pedro Bridge. That's what we wanted to know. There's eight of them, and they're armed. Why, you've been wounded. No, never mind, Ed. It's just a scratch. Get after those crooks. That's the ticket. If you're not an outlaw, go and get him. We'll go with you. Oh, what are you going to ride? Ride? Well, horses. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. They took our horses, the ones they left to worn out. We can travel on them, but not very fast. Those crooks are riding our horse flesh. We'll never catch them. I don't suppose you and your Indian friend have a chance, even if you did catch them. Two against eight? Yeah. Those odds are too long. Yeah. I guess there's nothing for us to do, Herb, but take the loss and like it. There might be a way to even the odds. What do you mean? I have an idea. Otto, you stay with Bill and Herb. Ride with them. Follow the trail of the Jordan gang, even though you do have to go slowly. Oh, gang got good start. Yes, they have a good start. But I think you'll find they'll continue on a roundabout route to avoid being seen by anyone. What are you going to do? There's no time to explain now. You three get on the trail and follow it. Well, where you go? I'm going back to Abner's ranch. I think I know how we can block those crooks. Does he mean Dad's place? That's right. Him? What yeah. for? Oh, Dad can't help none. Oh, <laughs> Abner Watrous was still seated on the porch of his small ranch house, his recently loaded rifle resting across his knees. The old man stood up when he heard the distant thunder of hoofs. Well, hang it, there's a horseman coming again. Well, I just hope it's Lefty Jordan. I'd like to get a shot at that ornery kind of... Jumping juniper. It's a masked man coming back. Martha! Martha, look there! Take some advice, Abner. What's the matter? Look at there, Martha. It's the masked man coming back here. Why, you're right. He is coming back. Riding like the wind. I don't see anyone chasing him, do you? Mm, if there was, he wouldn't be running away from him. No mistake about it. He's got something on his mind. Hold on, hold on. Easy. Anyway, come on. What's up, mister? Abner, answer my questions and be quick. What's the trouble? How long does it take to get from here to the San Pedro Bridge? On a horse? No, with a stagecoach. Mm, about a half an hour. If there are four or six good horses... Take six if they're pulling a load. How long from your son's ranch to the bridge? Well, that's a lot longer. Uh, how long? Well, three times as long, maybe four. And there is a chance. Chance of what? What in tarnation are you so mysterious about? Can that old what? stage of yours be moved? <laughs> well, it sure been moved. Good. Bring out your horses and hitch them up. Them old horses? Yes. Oh, dog gone and mister. Them critters is old and worn out. One of them's blind. Bring them out. They've got to help pull this stage. But for what? Where to? Now, look here, mister. I don't know what you're planning to do, but those old horses haven't pulled a stage in two years. They couldn't do it now. Horses are a lot like people, Mrs. Watchers. They'll do what's expected of them if they're made to understand how important it is. Mm, I don't know, mister. Them horses couldn't be beaten their day. But that was... Abner, uh, you're too old to drive. Yes, I'm... What? Who is? 
Aren't you? Like fun I am. Any blame fool that says I am will find out. No, he's too old to drive. I can handle range as good as any man. Darn sight better than these young whippersnappers that are trying to... And don't say your horses are too old. They might like to be back in harness just as much as you would. If you'd just stop asking questions long enough to tell me what for. To smash the lefty Jordan gang. What? That's right. I just come from your son's ranch. The Jordan gang stopped there and... They... Oh, the boys are... Bill and Herb are all right, Mrs. Watson. Are you sure? Oh, mister, if they heard our boys... Lefty Jordan and his men tied them up, then stole their horses. Ah, they're no good thieving critters. Those crooks are on their way now to the San Pedro Bridge. The triple twisted horse thieving sidewinders. Leave our boys tied up, will they? Make off with the best horse flesh in this part of the country, huh? Get extra ammunition for that rifle and get those horses hitched. We're going to trap those outlaws. Great land of milk and honey, why didn't you tell me all this in the first place? I wouldn't be wasting time standing here jawing if I'd have known. Martha, get the extra ammunition. But I and save your arguments. I'll get the horses hitched just as fast as I can. You wait right there, mister. You're sure the boys are all right? Yes. Their greatest concern is to get their horses back, Mrs. Watson. You, you won't let anything happen to Admiral, will you? I won't. I'll fix that ammunition right away. <laughs> Another half hour we'll be at the bridge, Lefty. That's right, Jake. And we won't have a thing to worry about. If the law don't have guards at the bridge. <laughs> that bridge will be clear. The law won't figure we're anywhere but in the north side of town. By the time they get wise, it'll be too late for them to do anything about it. <laughs> a mighty slick scheme, Lefty. What if we do meet the law, boss? And we'd shoot it out. There's nothing going to stop us once we reach that bridge. Get up there. Come on, come on. Look at them horses. They're sure stepping spry and looking lively. By thunder, Blackie has fire in his eye just like he used to have. Steady there now, Blackie. We'll be set to go in a jiffy. Here, Abner, I'll give you a hand. I'm going with but, you. Martha! There's no use arguing, Abner. But see here, it's not safe. The extra you... ammunition's up on the seat, Abner. All right inside. Oh, my sakes alive. What a woman to try to reason with. Martha, you can't... Save your breath for driving, Abner, Watson. Well, get in then. Get in. Can't take time to argue. Oh, up, Silver and I will travel alongside your lead horse and set the pace, Abner. You, you go right ahead and set the pace. These horses seem to have lost all their old age. We'll stick with you. Good. Is he big fellas? Be ready in just a second. I got to pull my gloves on. Never mind your gloves. You ain't steering before the post in town now. Huh? Get a move on it. Uh, now I'm ready. Look at them old horses, Martha. Clattering and pawing on the ground. Anxious to get started and on the run. Are you ready, Abner? All set. Good. One silver. Get up there. Get up there, Blackie. Nero, Dusty. Ah, hey, Juniper's just like it used to be. Look at them travel. They ain't old no more. They're young. They're back in the harness again. Yes, sir. Get up there. Get on there. One silver. Old Abner Watson felt the thrill of another day return to him as he sat once again on the high, jumping seat of the aged stagecoach. His eyes flashed with excitement. Get along there! Abner's horses strained to maintain a position alongside the Lone Ranger and his powerful white stallion. Come to me! Mile after mile rolled beneath the rumbling wheels and thundering hoops. And then the San Pedro Bridge was in sight. It was a narrow bridge. Barely wide enough to carry the stagecoach. Off to the left, the Lone Ranger saw eight horsemen. Abner, look! Horsemen! Yeah, I see him! It's the Jordan gang! We're ahead of them! Run your stage on the bridge, then join me! Oh, boy, oh, oh, boy, oh, boy. While Abner ran the stage on the bridge, the Lone Ranger reined up his great Ready, white silver, stallion behind a huge pile of rock near the entrance to the bridge. Ready, come on. Now come over here behind these rocks. Bring your wife with you. The boulders made a fortress that no bullet could penetrate. In a moment, Abner and Martha had left the stage and joined the masked man. Oh, my goodness. That is all Keep behind these rocks and you'll be safe enough. Martha, do you see the masked man's plan? The stage has the bridge shut right off. So those crooks can't get across. They can't cross without moving the stage. And before they can move the stage, they've got to get past us. Oh, I see. Wait, there they come. Don't show any more of yourself when you have to. All right, Sammy. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, get that stage out of the way. Not on your tin type. You're covered, Jordan. The law wants you. Oh, why are you... Open up on him, boy. You want gunplay. Remember that you're the ones that are in the open. 
You'll surrender or get shot down. You better make up your mind. Make up our minds, huh? Lefty, we're, we're cut off. Those rocks make a barricade for the critters behind it. Boys, we better backtrack. Turn your horses. You better surrender if you want to be dropped in your tracks. Your back tail's cut off. Lefty, he's right. Look over there. More right is coming. Boys, there's just one chance. Rest them from both sides and open fire. Don't fire, Lefty. Let him come. We'll cut him down. Stop my arm. Lefty, we can't go no closer. They can cut us down like flies. Come on, you can you get your hands up. I've had enough. I surrender. Me too. You want to fight him, Lefty? You go ahead. I'm quick. All right. We give up. While the Lone Ranger and Abner covered the gang, Abner's son, Bill and Herb, accompanied by Tonto, rode up and dismounted. Oh, 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 Glad you got here, boy. You're just in time to see a parcel of cutthroat horse thieves hogtied for the law. Gosh, Sam, that's your old stagecoach. Sure is. And your old horses. Yep. And, boys, it's your old man that drove them. You're just in time to help with the roping. Now, you're prisoners, Abner. When you turn this gang over to the law, we'll have reward enough to do anything you want. Not on your life. You're the one that gets the reward money. Sakes alive, yes. If you let Edna get his hands on cash, he'll be buying off the stage lot. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. What? Yippee! You hear that, Martha? He said that's not a bad idea. We'll see you again, Abner. And we'll look for the watcher's stages. <laughs> you watch for him, mister. You'll sure as thunder see him. Good. That'll be close. Until then. Rangers, you'll have to act immediately if you'd like to have a pair of genuine brand-new U.S. Army goggles. Remember, you don't have to send in a single penny. All you have to do is go over to your nearest grocery store and buy two packages of Cheerios. Look for two packages of Cheerios together with a picture of the goggles on the front. You'll find your goggles right inside one of these two packages. See your grocer tomorrow. You have just heard another of the famous Lone Ranger stories, a copyrighted feature originating in the studios of WXYZ Detroit and brought to you each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday by General Mills, makers of that nourishing breakfast cereal made from oats and ready to eat, Cheerios. Your announcer, Harry Golder. From the haunts of the great Indian tribes comes an echo of long ago. Listen. Hear those Indian tom-toms? They're beating out a throbbing rhythm for an ancient tribal dance. The Indian Corn Ceremonial Dance. A tribute to corn, the principal food of the Red Man. Yes, when you eat corn, you're eating Indian food. And when you eat kicks, you're eating corn. Kicks, K-I-X, is Indian corn in an exciting new way. Kix is corn roasted, toasted, and popped into golden nut sweet nuggets of nourishment. So rich with Indian corn flavor, you can almost imagine you're in a wigwam. Try corn this delicious new Kix way. You'll get a kick out of Kix. It's a winner. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share-like copyright. 
For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.